Hi everybody on YouTube, it's Anastasia, and you know who it is, a Holdry. And what I want to talk about today is I received an email from someone today on Facebook, and um, I think this is an issue that should be um, presented in, in a YouTube tutorial video because um, the topic was apparently how long you've been in your business and you're not making a lot of money so you decide to go elsewhere because you're not making any money with that company and you could be in your business for two three four five ten years the most and you know or the max and that takes you too long to make some actual real residual income and we're talking like dollars we're talking like two three four maybe eight ten thousand dollars a month well take some of my Okay, let's talk about this for a minute here, okay? <clears throat> let's be real. You signed up into your company. You paid your membership. You got your kit. You're staring at your kit. And then what? What do you do now? Do you just toss the kit to the side? Or do you pick up the kit, take out the necessary materials that are in the kit, your tools, your teeth, your, 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 your books, your CDs, your DVDs, your VCR tapes, whatever, put them to the side, lay them out, and go step by step through it? Which would you prefer to do? Well, that depends on the person, okay? For me, I'm a very, I'm a student of network marketing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the kit, I'm going to break it down, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to put it out on the table, and I'm going to read everything that I need to read because I'm sure that within 48 hours, my enroller is going to call me on the phone and say, have you done what you needed to do? And if time is a problem or an issue, schedule a date with yourself to go through your kit to make sure that you actually made the right decision to get involved in your business because it doesn't matter if you pay the money you're not a network marketer when you just pay the money and you don't do nothing with it you're a network marketer when you actually go through the pain and suffering and success story to be a network marketer that's a network marketer I've been through it so let me tell you something you if you have a problem that you're you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing like there are people that say social media is it network marketing is it multi-level marketing is it all these different businesses that are out there, I have nothing against them, okay? Well, what I'm going to tell you, what I know from my perspective is this. In network marketing, they teach that it doesn't matter what company you are with. They teach that it all depends on you. Your success depends on you. If it took you five years to get to a success uh, uh, achievement level in your business, a status, a pin level, um, whatever, then that's because on you has nothing to do with the company or the compensation plan you have to remember that it all depends on your own success your own walk of strategy if your walk of life had too much going on like for me for example I'll tell you about me it took me two years okay I enrolled um, March of 2008 and it took me about a year to get to where I needed to be with my company okay and the reason why it took so long to get to my pin level was because I had too many things going on. So being real with you, okay, because I don't sugarcoat nothing. First of all, it take a year because I had a baby, okay. My baby is was uh, at that time one years old. I had to do something. I'm a single mom. I had to work two jobs and I was busting hump, okay. I mean really busting some hump and working and going to school at the same time in the evening. So that's a lot for somebody. And then I didn't see my kid until the next morning. So if you are like me, if you're a mom like me, and you know what it feels like to get up in the morning and kiss your kid to have a nice day, and he's asleep, got his beautiful eyes shut or her eyes shut, and then you go and work. You work the whole day, then you gotta go to school. And it, well, I had two jobs, so think about it. I had to go to work, then finish, go to the next job, then finish, and then the next day I had to go to school. You know, because I had like off day in between. And then I had to get called into work sometimes. So it was hectic. Well, I got tired of doing that. So what did I figure out that I was going to do? Let me tell you. I decided to start being serious. When I had the opportunity, I took it. I became a full-time stay-at-home mom. I stayed with my kid for another year. I worked my home-based business to as much as I could work it. Now I don't have all those distractions. Now I'm home and I do my business. Now... Depending on what I'm doing, it duplicates in your business. So it doesn't matter if I'm not a millionaire yet. That has nothing to do with it. That's the wrong mindset, okay? You don't want to think like that. You want to think about what is it that I need to do that's going to make a difference in my business today? Do I have to go out there and prospect? 
Do I have to go online and network with people? Do I have to find a way to get some of the people that I talked to before to get back on the phone with me and speak with me again on setting up another presentation or an appointment? That is what you have to do. If you're not doing those things and you've been in it for too long, don't complain. Because you know what? You weren't doing what's supposed to be done. And you depend too much on the company. Company is not going to help you. You have to help yourself. The company is the tool factor. You use the tool to build your business. Again, remember, it is not your company. You are affiliated with this company. So your job is to handle it like a business. Treat it like a business. Make what you need to make. And you get paid what you earn from the work that you do. So the work that you do, you will get paid residually if you're doing it consistently. If you're not, it's not going to work for you. doesn't matter what business you do, how much money you spend, how much money you paid into it, how much pain you suffered. If you're not doing the strategies and you're not applying the skills that you learned from your business kit that was given to you in the beginning, don't blame the company. Blame yourself. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's look on a positive note, okay? Positivity note is this. Get your kit, no matter what business you're in, put it out in front of you, read the policy, read the procedures. Companies have policies and procedures, especially legitimate ones. And you're going to find out that they have specific ways to advertise the business or to speak about the business in general and how to create a contact list or your sheet and work with people and how to enroll them into your business. Again, follow the system, okay? And then you shouldn't go wrong. If you try to reinvent the wheel, you're reinventing wreak havoc. Because it's going to be a headache, it's going to be, it's going to be a, a stress moment for you, and you're going to be like, I can't do this. I have to go find something else. And, and then it's that mindset. If you keep going and finding everything and bouncing from one business to another to another, and you still keep seeing the same results, what are you doing? That's the definition of insanity. You keep doing the same thing over and expecting a different result. That's not the right way of doing it. Okay? I hope that helped you. Please, I wish you the best. But please, consider the factor of doing your business right. Don't reinvent the wheel. Okay? Good luck to you and your business. Much success. Uh, all right? Love you.